Today I want to talk to you guys about two password list creating tools and based on social media kind of engineering. They're both very similar, um, Cup and Pydictor. Um, and in short, once you do some social engineering on someone and you can find some information, first name, last names, date of births, these two tools will create a password list with um, different variations of those options you've put in. Let's have a look at this one. Let's say I found someone and their first name is Carly. Their last name is Linux. And then you can start with adding some more options into this one. Got nicknames, birth dates, and go along. I'm just going to enter all of them just so it creates a quick list just with those two on. But as you can see, quite a few options to pass from. <clears throat> It adds special characters, special numbers, special words if you want for anyone. Um, and of course, delete mode as well. Um, if you don't know what delete mode is, suggest you Google it. But it's when it changes uh, characters to numbers. We'll skip that one for now. And the high speed one. But we'll go along, create a bunch of words. Um, the same with the uh, this one here as well. This works a bit more in a Metasploit kind of framework where I have to set the variables. So, we have a show options. And then we can set CNAME to Kali. Set SNAME to Linux. And um, then we can just run it as well. You're going to leave all the other ones blank and just run. I find this is a lot quicker, as you can see, um, created a list in 0 0.099 seconds. Um, we can have a quick look at the list. There you go. A quick list, it's added some random details to it. Let me look for it. Um, but yeah, and it starts with adding the Kali numbers and Kali details, just of whatever you've put on. A good little mixture of things, capital letters, lower cases, numbers in the front, numbers in the back, um, first names, last names. As you can see, yeah, it's quite a big list that they've gone through. Um, now, why is this useful? Um, let's say someone has selected a funny password, like this kind of thing here. And let's say you know the username. Um, we can use a tool called Hydra, for example. Look, I'll bring it up on this side. So if we exit out of this, Hydra can be used for many other things, but um, I've just set it up on here. Um, and that's just to use it and test it on this box I have. So what Hydra does is it uses um, passwords and usernames and tests whatever different connections there is. It's got lots of other different functionality. You can test websites. You can test um, a lot of different ports and applications for it. But I just use this um, on SSH. So for example, we have um, Hydra. It's going to use the username called Kali. Um, and then it's going to try the password list over here. And we will try that... Um, this is my box IP address, and I'm going to try SSH. See how fast that takes. Let's just give it some time. I'll drag it along the side to run. Um, I do like up, but the um, password list is a lot shorter. We'll have a look at this one while that works. Um, as you can see here, just starts with the basics, Kali's, and it adds like different numbers to it. Very short, only 390. Um, I find it not as effective as the other application. Um, we'll go back and view this. Just have a look at how things are constructed. And you can see it. It adds numbers, it adds numbers to the front, it changes lowercases, changes capital capitals. 
and obviously you got a much bigger range of words and lists with this and then it adds a bunch of randoms in the top um, not sure where this has come from but yeah I feel like the more obviously the more you have the more um, the more you can work on there's just some common passwords that's been added like one two three four passwords www Oh. So this is still working, so I might just pause this one and see how long that takes. Be right back. Yeah, so it's taken some time to finish a scan, but as you can see, it eventually found with the username that password it selected in the list. Um, yeah, Hydra, pretty cool tool, but then um, I'll show you the log file here. Not the best and secure. You can have a look at my uh, firewall log to see all the failed attempts. And well, it didn't go into automatic blocking, but it stops it. Um, yeah, and that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.